it is the year 2015. In Europe, due to the delay in first childbirths and increased affluence, the incidence of common solid malignancies such as breast cancer has increased by 8% from 2008. But mortality from this disease is on the decline, down 5% from 2008 to around 22%. There are no clear preventative measures that women can undertake to reduce the risk of breast cancer. However, breast screening with early detection is resulting in progress in reducing the mortality of breast cancer. This trend is being enhanced by combining improved and more flexible diagnostic tools with new communication technologies. And Smart Health is leading in this effort. Smart Health has developed a bi-diagnostic monitoring system which is designed to provide high quality clinical care that ensures the patient is at the centre of disease management. Since these devices are used by patients for self-testing, they're no more difficult to use than, say, a mobile phone. Users carry out regular home tests to monitor the changes in their disease progression or in their response to therapy. And this has had a significant effect on their quality of life. Emma Rasmussen is 32 years old. She was just diagnosed with breast cancer two weeks ago as part of a national screening programme. Emma is the third generation of women in her family that have had this disease. Her grandmother died three years after a lump was discovered. Her mother was diagnosed 15 years ago at age 42. She underwent chemo and radiotherapy and was clear with no further incidents for six years, but then had a reoccurrence that resulted in a breast removal. Today is Emma's first meeting with her consultant on how to proceed to treatment and disease management. So, what are my chances? I really want to fight this thing. Once the cancer is treated with drugs and radiotherapy, the key to a long life and good health is the ongoing management of this disease. Here's where we've had some real breakthroughs. We now give women a home device they can use to test their blood every month to detect the earliest signs of the breast cancer coming back, so it can be dealt with quickly. We found that early detection really helps keep this disease under control. This is the instrument. It's really very quick and the machine is very simple to use. You insert your smart data card into the device. You take the biosensor cartridge out of its wrapping and put it in the machine. The device uses a blood sample taken from the end of your finger. Squeeze your finger and touch it to the cartridge. It's very, very quick compared to tests in the past, but it's not instant. The patient's data must be absolutely secure, all the way from their home to a medical record. The data will be strongly encrypted. A unique numbering scheme will be cross-checked, and only then it is communicated. If necessary, a message will be sent immediately to the patient using a secure communications protocol where it proposes making an appointment with a GP or clinic as the follow-up action. OK, it's done. It's worked. Your smart health records are updated by wireless internet, or if you don't have that, your mobile phone. The results are then sent to the hospital records and simultaneously directly to me. It's what we expect and there's no further action needed. And I have to do it every month? Yes, the chemicals in your blood that show you might have a recurrence only build up slowly, so there's no value in doing it more often. And what happens if it's positive? We will be alerted to this and we'll give you an appointment. You'll see the date on your handset and you just need to confirm this with our surgery. What's important is to understand that this is helping you to get good treatment. You mustn't get stressed out each month before the test. The test shows very early signs of any change in your blood markers that could indicate cancer activity. Monitoring lets us manage this change in your system very early, which is very positive and will keep the disease under control. The great advantage of the traditional GP was their continuing knowledge and links to their patients over time. The problem with health services is that patients get in clinic, see a different doctor, there is no continuity and problems present late and to different teams. Also, patients with chronic disease stay at home, get slowly worse, get seriously ill, go into hospital, are discharged 
and the cycle begins again. Doctors know this is not the way to handle this. It is not good for the patient and it is very expensive. If possible, the patient should be at home, problems should be discovered early and all the information kept together looked after by a single health team. Doctors can then deal quickly with problems. Patients will not need to be admitted to hospital. Doctors can focus on the real issue. Long-term maximization of the patient's quality of life rather than management of acute episodes of ill health. SmartHealth's intelligent combination of biosensor technology with information technology, wireless communication and biostatistics enables the next step in the evolution of cancer management. Breast cancer, in common with other solid malignancies, is a lifelong condition and the long-term monitoring of women for recurrence will enable further early intervention to provide rapid, targeted treatment. Smart Health is on course to deliver this 2015 scenario. Thanks to EC support and funding which encourages people to work collaboratively across countries and disciplines for applied science research, this future vision can become a reality. Mm -hmm.